All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akiman. Give me one second. I'm about to start up. Give me one second. Right. <clears throat> today is March the uh, today seventh. Today is the seventh. Yeah, March seventh, year two thousand twenty-three. The hopeful year, Yahweh. Yeah, the hopeful year of Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai, bringing the prophecies to pass. All right, all the prophecies to pass. That is, all right. Yahweh being the heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. Being his only begotten son, all right? And they're only the God and the powers of Israel, which represents you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans through the seed of your fathers today, all right? As well as, you know what I'm saying, the speckled birds which go back, all right, to the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? So before I begin, of course, start out by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. <clears throat> of great millstone who teaching the course where I learned his truth. All right, peace and salutation to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, I'm just going to jump right in. All right, today again being May the 7th, year 2023. All right, and we pray that this is a, you know what I'm saying, a, a great year. You know what I'm saying? It's toward uh, being one of our last years in this captivity, all right? Now, the way it's looking, of course, it's you know what I'm saying it's looking like we're gonna be here. We're gonna be here, at least at the beginning of 2024. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, judgment is going out at, at a hellacious clip, and it's been that way since shit 2021. If you ask me, all right, judgment goes forth every day from the Lord. But it's just in today's world, it's like judgment is some of the shit you see that goes down today. If you would have seen this five to ten years ago, you you, you man. <laughs> it would, man, it would be different, all right. But today, it's becoming uh actually fairly normal, all right. The the more hellacious the judgment, the more normal it's becoming, all right. At least to the to the elect, all right. Because we want to see this place go out with violence, all right. The same way this place was established through violence, we want to see it go out with violence, all right. This is Zephaniah three and verse five. It say the just Lord Yahweh Shem was shy in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. He fell at night, but the unjust knoweth no shame, all right? So it say every morning the Lord bring his judgment to light. All right, um, the, the scriptures tell you the issues of death belong to the Lord. The scriptures tell you uh, a, um, a leaf don't fall from the fig tree unless the Lord sanction it. So everything that goes down on this earth, it goes down because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh wants it to go down and ordains it to go down, all right? I'm saying man's goings are the Lord, so how can a man understand his own way? All right, and that's the that's the big trick that Yahweh Shemayosha has played on the majority of the world. All right, the only people who understand what time it is is the elect. All right, Job 12 and 16, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. So if you can't understand this, it's because the Lord don't want you to understand it. All right, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's in the Psalms. As well as in Romans 11, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to hit the Psalms first. Psalm 69, I'm going to tell you um, how King David prayed against the two-thirds that their eyes be, be uh, blind, that they be darkened, all right? This Psalm 69 and verse uh, 22, it says, Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, welfare let it become a trap. All right. Verse 23, let their eyes be darkened that they see not. Let their, it's like let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them. All right, the Lord's righteous anger. All right. And let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. All right. And that's talking about the two thirds of Israel. All right. Two thirds of you Negroes, Spanish, Native Americans today. All right. 
Let me see. Uh, let their habitation be desolate and let none dwell in their tents. All right. That means it's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding can't can't dwell with them. Cause the scriptures say, if if you was able to understand this, then the Lord would heal you. But the Lord gave two thirds up to that reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. All right. This is Romans 11 and verse seven. It say, uh, what then hath Israel not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Alright, as it is written. Alright, where was it written? In Psalms, because David said it. Alright, we just read it. Yahweh Smash our power had given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should see not. Eyes that they it's like it. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. Unto this day. So even in this very day where we are today, because Yahweh Shah ain't returned. They're still in that state today, all right? They're still that, uh, they're still those dry bones who haven't awakened, all right? You know what I'm saying? As I tell you in Ezekiel 37, Israel was going to wake. The dry bones was going to wake, and the Lord's going to bring that, breathe that life into them, all right? That life is talking about the law, statutes, and commandments, the, uh, the wisdom of you, how about Shemia, I was shot, but only the elect, the elect have obtained that, all right? Two-thirds of the Lord people, they ain't, they ain't got that yet, and they don't even want it. They slap, they slap it away. All right, when you when you try to tell them about this, you know what I'm saying, this truth and what who they believe God and Jesus is and who and who He really is and who they really are, you know what I'm saying, being Yahweh and Yahweh saying what they coming back to do, and that they only love the Israelites. All right, our people they don't want that. All right, they rather share their blessing. All right, they want to look for ways to get other people in the blessing. All right, rather than just being thankful that you know I'm saying the Lord loves them. All right, verse nine. As David said, all right, we just read it in Psalm 69, all right, uh, as David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back away, all right, so again, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they got to learn the death by pain on this side, they gonna, the Lord going to put them to death, but at the same time, you got to understand it. mercy is going to be shown to Jacob as a, as a whole, all right? The two-thirds is going to get it on the other side. The elect is going to get it on this side. Jumping down to verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved as, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. All right, so again. Verse 28, as concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved. They are beloved for the Father's sake. All right, that's the elect of the Most High. All right. But the point was that, you know what I'm saying, the Lord going to turn away ungodliness from Jacob, the whole house of Jacob, even the two-thirds, all right, which represent the house of Saul on this side. The Lord is going to turn back ungodliness from them after he kills them on this side, you know what I'm saying, and then purge out the rebels. All right, but on this side, you know, before we even get beamed up out of this place, uh, Mystery Babylon, a.k.a. America, Spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all right, a good majority of the Lord people going to be dead already, all right? The Lord said he's going to point over them four kinds, the sword, the slay, the dogs, the tear, the fowls of the heaven, the beasts of the earth, to devour and destroy. The Lord also said uh, he's going to set um, for such, such as for death to death, such as for the sword to the sword, such as for the captivity to the captivity, and such as for the famine to the famine. So the Lord got hellacious judgments coming for, you know what I'm saying, two-thirds of his people. All right, and ain't nothing we can do to get them out of it. And if you're in your right mind, it ain't nothing you want to do to get them out of it. All right, you should be happy. The Lord loves you and ain't putting that judgment on you. All right, because, hey, our power is a, is a jealous power, all right? You get you, you get to thinking, you know what I'm saying, you, you can get in the way of his judgments and you will get your own self, you know what I'm saying, Hewed down. All right, Jeremiah 7 and 16 tells us, uh, Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up cry, nor pray for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. So you can't pray for these niggas. All right, you can't get them out this judgment. All right, at the end of the day, what the scriptures say? Uh, that does thou love Israel more than me? All right, the Lord, Yahweh Shemel is the father of all spirits. All right, so he knows. What's in these uh these 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 wicked Jake's heart? Let me read this in Numbers 29 and 16. All right, it reads uh 
This is the baby. One second, I can. Hold on, one second. All right, this number is 27 and 16. So, like, it, it says, Let the Lord, Yahabashimah, outside the power of the spirits of all flesh. All right, so again. Spirits of all flesh, that's Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right, Yahweh. But he Yahweh gave all judgment to Yahweh Shah, all right. You know what I'm saying? The power of the spirits of all flesh set a man over the congregation, all right. So that's I was just reading that to let you know that the Lord is the uh the power of all flesh. Scriptures also say, um Damn, what was I thinking? Uh it's an Ecclesiastic Gus. Shit, I had a brain freeze. One second, I can what did he say? Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, this is Ecclesiastes. All right, chapter twelve and verse seven. Let me make sure this KJV. All right, it reads, then. Shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh Shemel Shai Power who gave it. All right, so again, you know, Yahweh Shemel Shai is the power of all spirits. He controls all the spirits, and all of the spirits on this earth have been on this earth many times before. And this time in particular, they're they're here for uh, great judgment, all right? Israel in particular, because you got to understand, throughout our captivities and throughout our lives, we, we, we've done things, and, and now we're at the time for judgment, and the Lord is going to show mercy. So one third and he's gonna not show no mercy to the two thirds, all right? Meaning they're gonna get judged with their sins in this life and their previous lives, all right? A lot of our people was part of that uh uh free free Barabbas, you know what I'm saying? Um a lot of our people was them niggas that pressed up on Moses. A lot of our people was uh the ones that said crucify him, crucify him. We had no king but Caesar. All right, that's a lot of these two thirds over here today. All right, a lot of them. And they're here for judgment. All right. Let me read this in uh, Luke. What's that? Let's see. Luke 19 and 27. That's what it is. Luke chapter 19. All right, in verse 27. All right, it reads, hang me one second. My, my tablet is tripping. Let me get another, another tab pulled up right quick. Okay, there we go. All right, Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. And it's written, in, <clears throat> it's written in red, and it reads, But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. All right, so <clears throat> you niggas who don't want, who didn't want Yahweh Shah to reign over you back then and still don't want Yahweh Shah to reign over you now, all right, you're going to get slayed, all right, put to death, all right. And I, you know what I'm saying? I told you already, it's going to be an assortment of ways that it's going to come, all right. And that's just on this side, all right? You know what I'm saying? Wait until the elect come out of the chariots, all right? And purge out the rebels, all right? You Israel, you wicked Israelite foreigners around the world who are, who are against this message, all right? You 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 don't get a pass either, all right? Everybody is going to rock to this beat that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has his prophets singing his song to, all right? You're going to rock to it or you're going to get beat to beat into rocking into it, all right? That go for it. You heathens as well because you 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 heathens you got slavery on the books. All right, that's that's the next come on coming future for these heathens is slavery. All right, captivity, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Jeremiah 30 and 16. It reads, Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. All right, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. All right, so that's what's coming to you other nations. All right, verse 17, for I will restore health unto thee. That's Israel. And I will heal 
thee of thy womb, saith the Lord Yahweh Shemiahwashai, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Seeketh after. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shemiahwashai, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents. I Meaning he's going to turn back our captivity, all right? Because we're in captivity now. And have mercy on his dwelling places. And the, and the city shall be built upon her own heap. And the palace shall remain after, let me see, yeah, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. All right, because once we get out of this captivity, we're never going into captivity again. What the scriptures tell you, uh, and, um, and Lamentations 4, it tell you, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. All right, we ain't going back into slavery. All right, Lamentations 4 and 21, it say, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou, thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. All right, that's you, Edom. That's you, Edom. That's you, so called white people today. All right, this is what's coming to you. All right, that cup is talking about lamentations, mournings, and woe. All right, slavery, destruction. All right, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the cup that we had to drink of, it'll tell you in Jeremiah 49, they who was not the drink of the cup have surely a drunken. And are he all together, shall he not go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink. All right, so Esau, starting with you, you gonna drink of that cup, all right? You know what I'm saying? And all you nations to boot, all right? Because you you had a place in Esau's kingdom, all right? You know what I'm saying? Esau gave all the other nations a seat at the table, all right? That's why the scripture tell you, um, in the end, the Lord, all these nations are gonna see Esau for what he is, and, and the Lord gonna have him burning with fire, all right? The Lord gonna have all the other nations. All right, light Esau ass up with, with ICBM nuclear missiles, all right? The American Edomite, all right? And those days are fast approaching, all right? You see what uh, these other nations are saying, uh, wars and rumors of wars, all right, you know? You got uh, Jake Jake uh, falling, falling victim to that monkey paw. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that they didn't pump themselves up on. Listening to Esau, who was the latest victim? Uh, Jamie Foxx. All right, this nigga's still in the hospital. All right, still ain't came out. You know what I'm saying? Because he took Esau's serpent juice. <clears throat> and look at him now. All right. All you Jakes that made a covenant with death is going to die. All you Jakes that made covenant with Esau is going to die. All right. All you Jakes that trust in Esau's system is going to die. All right. The American system, you're going to die. All right. The scriptures tell you, um, no hand joined in hand, no hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. All right, the scriptures tell you, uh, all that are joined unto them shall be uh, slayed with the sword. All right, hey, we in them days, man. All right, we in those days. All right, and it's time for, you know what I'm saying, Jake to get his issue. All right, the, the, the one third is doing what they got to do. To draw closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and the two thirds are, are playing their part in drawing further away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and that's just the way the Lord wanted to be. All right, Amos nine. All right, in verse eight it say, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob," said the Lord, because it's an elect out of Jacob, a one third. All right. And we believe those men to be the start, starting with being the apostles and elders and like-minded men of Great Millstone, as well as our apostles, teachers, all right, going all the way back to uh, Abba Bivens, all right, and King Masha and High Priest Ariyah and uh, all the other our apostles, elders, all right, <clears throat> those are men of the Lord, all right, <clears throat> regardless of the state that they're in right now and, and all of that, hey, the Lord showed those men things that he hadn't showed any other man up until that point in time, all right? And the Lord said he gonna, he'll have mercy on who, on who he had, on who he choose to have mercy on, all right? The Lord ain't, uh, the Lord has favorites, all right? You know what I'm saying? The Lord showed King David mercy, all right? King David committed sins worthy of death, but did the Lord kill him? <laughs> no, the Lord saved him, all right? The Lord chastised him, yes, but the Lord didn't kill him, all right? The Lord said King David was a man after his own heart. All right. Verse 9, it says, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like his corn is sift in a seed. Yes, shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Because again, we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. 
throughout all the nations, all right? Uh, I did a video the other day. Um, and these, they, 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 you would think they were some Arabs, all right? Some Ish, Ishmaelites. But when you understand the curses and whatnot, you know that they could clearly be Israelites. Because um, in the video, in the Ishmaelites, for the most part, are against homosexuality all right now they wicked as shit as far as other sex acts like the dubai porta potty and all that they they some freaky nasty ass heathens as well but for the most part they're against homosexual activity so in this particular video i you i uh i recorded and i did um it was at uh what was he eight years old and i think they was in um germany because they weren't speaking english they were speaking in, uh like like german all right, and they took his eight-year-old son out of the house because the father was teaching his son against trans activity and alternate lifestyle activity. He was teaching his son that that's not okay. All right, and these devils literally removed his son out of his house. His son was screaming. All right, the father was standing there, you know what I'm saying? The mother, I think it was probably the, the, the mother, either um, an aunt, you know what I'm saying? They were all, they had their Muslim attire on, the heads was covered, all right? But they they took little dude up, up up out of there. All right, I might still I might have it on here. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Uh, let me see. All right, let me find that clip right quick. All right, this is it right here. And it's on my channel, Yahweh Khan and One Forty Four Messenger of Truth Three Point Oh. That's where that video is at. All right, Give me one second. All right, here it is. All right, okay. probably got a little blare or glare on it, but you can. All right, so you know what I'm saying. I just wanted to show you all that right quick. You know what I'm saying. This man, we went through some shit over here in this captivity, bro. All right, these devils fucked us up. All right, and that's why I say that could easily be. You know what I'm saying. An Israelite. You know, if it's not an Israelite, it's still. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7 tell you how the Lord is going to put all the cur all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee. All right, so these curses are going on you other nations, all right? And those curses are, uh, some of these curses are written in Deuteronomy 28. All right, let me see. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32, it says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might. In thine hand, all right. You see what I just showed you that he couldn't get his son back. The mothers couldn't. The mother couldn't get him back. The other uh, woman couldn't get him back. All right. You know what I'm saying? Esau is a goddamn devil, and this is where he gets into. All right. It, uh, what the scripture tell you? Tell you he that teaches his he that teaches his son grieveth the enemy. All right. You know what I'm saying? So if you and the scriptures also tell you train up a, a child in the way that he should go. So clearly, you see when you train your children up in a righteous manner, it's 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 frowned upon over here in this place with these damn devils. All right, these fucking Edomites. All right, these cave dwellers. All right, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, all right? All right, I'm gonna read another curse right here in uh, Deuteronomy 28. Let me see if these be read that one, the sons and daughters. Let me see, uh, it's another one where I tell you that shall beget sons and daughters. See, where is that one at? One second, document. Let me see. Damn. Did I pass it? Uh, if I can't find it right quick, we're just going to keep flowing. Hey, right, I'm going to read this in Deuteronomy 28 and 36. Say, the Lord, Yahweh Shemal, Shah, shall bring thee and thy king, which thou set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. 
and there thou shalt serve other gods, wood and stone. All right, who is that king that is talking about? King David. All right, again, King David. All of the prophets were were, were put in captivity over here in this in, in in uh this this life. All right, all of the prophets. All right, the scriptures tell you um what's that Jeremiah fifty and thirty three. All of the prophets are in Babylon today, you know what I'm saying, or have been in Babylon. All right, and then, of course, you know, you got the prophets throughout the four corners of the earth, but the biggest bulk of us are right here in Babylon, all right? Jeremiah 15 and 33, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shav, host the children of Israel, that's the northern kingdom, the so-called uh, Native Americans and Mex Mexicans, all right? And the children of Judah. Judah represents the southern kingdom, that's you so-called Negroes, you hate the Haitians and Jamaicans. All right, that's the southern kingdom of Israel. We're oppressed together, all right? It's put in slavery together, all right? All that took them, and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go, all right? And where did that happen at? Right over here in the land of the north, because you gotta remember when, um, after Solomon died, you know, um, the kingdom of heaven, I mean, it wasn't the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Israel, you know what I'm saying, was, was split, all right, you know, uh, the southern kingdom stayed in the land with Rehoboam, and the northern kingdom was kicked out of the land, and they went with Jeroboam, all right? And when they, they once they left the land, they went into captivity under the Assyrians, all right? They were slaves to the Assyrians, all right? And then as the Babylonians came up and took out the Assyrians, all right, uh, the northern kingdom was able to escape and, and come over here to this land, all right? It was known as Aserith back then. They call it America today, all right, because the Northern Kingdom understood and knew, you know what I'm saying, um, well, that no, that mankind wasn't dwelling over here yet, all right. Solomon had them Hamite armies come over here and, and bring back resources to, to our kingdom, and they knew how long it took to get here. It took a year and a half to get here and a year and a half to get back, so they knew when they, uh, once they fled, they couldn't go back to, to Jerusalem, so they were like, man, we're going to go. To that land that was, uh, you know what I'm saying, where Solomon was 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 going to get their riches from, all right. And they said they was gonna keep the law, statutes, and commandments when they got here, all right. And clearly they didn't, all right. All you gotta do is watch a movie called Apocalypto and see what the fuck they was doing when they got over. They came over here and got right back to being wicked as shit, all right. Building up pyramids and shit, worshiping the sun, sacrificing each other, cannibalizing each other, doing all of that, all right. They was doing that shit right over here, all right. And while they was doing that over here. The southern kingdom eventually went into slavery uh, to Babylon, all right, to the Babylonians, all right. Then the southern kingdom went into uh, captivity to the Persians and the Medes, all right. And then after that, the southern kingdom went into slavery under the Greeks. And then after that, the southern kingdom went into slavery under the Romans, all right. That was all happening to the southern kingdom of Judah, all right. Well, it's, the southern kingdom is Judah, but the southern kingdom of Israel, all right. You Negroes, Haitians, and Jamaicans, all right. Uh, the northern kingdom was already over here, all right? And then eventually, you know what I'm saying, Esau showed his ass up over here, all right? You see that in Apocalypto, and, and he put hell on, on uh, the wicked of, our, of, the, of the northern kingdom, all right? You know what I'm saying? He came over here and got right down on their ass, all right? And, and started fucking them up because they was committing wickedness in the land. They was fucking each other up. Anyway, they was, man, they was, we was wicked, all right? And then... A time period later, you know what I'm saying, uh, after 70 AD when we fled into the west coast of Africa, you know what I'm saying, uh, the Hamites gathered, gathered us up with uh, the help of Ishmael and Esau, of course, but the Hamites gathered us up, uh, Ishmael helped build the boats, and Amalek helped fund it, and then, you know what I'm saying, they, they brought the southern kingdom over here, so that fulfills the prophecy of the children of Israel and the children of Judah being oppressed together right here in the land of the north. The only other time we were oppressed together was when we was in ancient Egypt. All right, you know what I'm saying? Back during Moses, Moses' time, all right? We was we was in Egypt together then in slavery, and we we're in Egypt together now in New Egypt, spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all right? And um, in ancient Egypt, the Lord passed over. The Lord passed over the whole house of Israel, all right? But on this side, this time around, the Lord's only going to pass over the elect of Israel, two thirds, they're not gonna be afforded their luxury on this time, all right? You know what I'm saying? They gotta learn it death by pain and they deserve it. All right, I mean, just look at them. Look at these Israelite camps and what they're doing. Look at a camp like IURC, 
All right, who they what they say? Uh, Most High and Christ bless. All right, look at a camp like um I U I S U P K. All right, they're all about uh General Yohanna being above the Savior. The same way I U R C thinks Nate is the Savior. All right, they elevate the men, the leaders of their congregation above the Lord pretty much, and they teach madness. All right, you know what I'm saying? These niggas teach uh talking about I S U P K. They teach the John Bap John the Baptist spell out the truth. He ain't a man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? All this different shit. You got Sakari, bitch ass. What them niggas say? They said the book of Hebrews ain't the word of God. All right. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of madness from these niggas, bro. From all these different camps. All right. And that's why they ain't going to be shown no mercy. All right. Now, is it members of their congregation? That, that's, that's, that's part of the elect? I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. But they're going to come up out of that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord going to break them, them squads up. And the elect is going to come to GMS. And the men who teach the GMS doctrine, and that's going to be that. All right, same thing with um, them Adam Abbott niggas, all right? You know what I'm saying? They don't teach that the uh, MOTB is that karagma that's going to go in your right hand or your forehead. All right, we're coming up on that. That prophecy real soon, all right? You know what I'm saying? The Fed now should be here in a couple... Well, we in May. The Fed now is supposed to be here in June or July, so we're a month or a month and a half away from that. All right, uh... The dollar is crashing, uh, CBDCs and digital currencies is right around the corner, and right after that is going to be that, uh, the implementation of the, of the Karagma, which is the RFID microchip, all right? And if you ain't prepared for it, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be taken by it, and all these congregations that ain't prepared, they, they flock for it, the, their blood is going to be on their hands, all right? The Lord going to kill them, and he's going to kill their wicked-ass teachers for not uh, warning them, all right? That's what the scriptures say, um, the watchman is supposed to warn them. <laughs> To get the blood out their hand, but if the watchman don't warn, then the Lord is gonna require their blood in. All right, the uh, the Lord is gonna require the, the 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 halfway prophet who didn't warn and the um the person who didn't receive the warning. All right, that's that's back to basically Job twelve and sixteen with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. All right. So that's where we at with it. All right, Revelation twelve and twelve. All right. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come unto, come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know it, because he know it that he had but a short time, all right? And that devil that's speaking of is these Edomites, the elite of Esau. All right, they're getting ready to come down with that great wrath, all right? Amalek, all right, he's the chief house of Edom. All right, and he's uh he's trying to get uh, his birthright back. All right, he wants to enslave the world through a RFID microchip so he can control all of the people. All right, he wants to be your how about some how shot. He wants to know what's in your mind and what's in your heart. All right, but it's never gonna happen. The Lord said this devil has a bounds that he can't pass. All right, the Lord knows the every hair on every man's head, not Esau. All right. The Lord knows, uh, you know what I'm saying, can measure the the, the, the uh, sand of the sea, not Esau. All right, the Lord knows uh, what's the the search. The Lord knows what's in the bottom of the ocean and in the heavens. He told that he, he told them devils if they could search out the sea and the heavens, he would do away with Israel. Clearly, they ain't did it because we're still here, and the Lord ain't gonna let them do it. He was being facetious with them motherfuckers. All right, he was he was really mocking them. All right. Because them, them fuckers really did try to do it, all right? You see Esau, what he did? He went up into space, all right? He didn't go where he said he went. He didn't go to the moon, but he went up into space. He has technology to go, you know what I'm saying, hundreds of feet underwater. He can't go to the bottom of the ocean, but he can go, you know what I'm saying? He's explored it. He's tried it, all right? These fuckers ain't even discovered the whole damn earth yet, all right? I mean, put it this way. It's, they've discovered the earth. It's things that the Lord is with, with, withheld from Esau. He didn't just get his nigga the whole shebang like that. All right, he gave him what he what he has, but it's mysteries and things that Esau has not conquered. All right, and he's not gonna conquer because those were given to the children of Israel. All right, this earth is given to us to possess it. All right, we have a, a stake in this thing because if we be those men, we was with Yahweh Shai when these things were being created. All right, the blueprint was given by Yahweh to Yahweh Shai. And the 144 was given to to Yahweh Shai to uh, carry out this mission and making everything you see today with Yahweh Shai. All right, so we definitely um 
we definitely want to get back in, get back with what we we what we, we promised. All right, we want it back. All right, we we don't want to just settle for what these fuckers are trying to give us on this side. We want what the Lord promised us, and that was you fuckers, meaning you other nations and slaves in this world and the planets beyond this world as our uh as our as our dwelling places. All right, the scriptures say in my father's house are many mansions. All right. He say you go to prepare a place for us there. So, you know what I'm saying? We want the we want the earth and we want the uh, galaxy and, and, and everything and beyond infinity and beyond. Like Buzz Lightyear say, we want all that. Alright. And we want to have a, a, a slave running enterprise. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have all you nations on them planets already. I imagine these things having you you, you damn nations in slavery on this earth and in the uh you know what I'm saying, the the, the stratosphere. You know what I'm saying? The different galaxies and planets. We're gonna have you in slavery up there too. <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? Cause that's 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 what was promised to us, all right. There's no way the Lord was gonna let you have a better kingdom than us. All right, get the fuck out of here. All right, you devils. Man. Let me see, uh y'all give me a uh, I'm not gonna be able to make this camp really, really long. This if you even wanna call it a camp, it's more so a um a sit down or you know, I got to clear this phone off. I got to get some, some space, more space on the phone. If I go too, too long on it, you know what I'm saying? It uh, They won't record the end and it'll cut the lesson. So I don't be trying to go too long. But when I get to work tonight, I'm going to clear some of the space off. Or I'll get another phone or another um thing. So I'll be able to stay out here the, the way I want to. All right. But, you know, I just wanted to come out and speak. You know what I'm saying? Do my part. Throw my log in the fire, all right. Show my allegiance to your how about you, all right. You know what I'm saying? Feed the sheep, all right, because that's what we're commanded to do, and that's my passion. That's what I look forward to doing. There's nothing more I would rather do than, than to be doing this, all right. So, uh, just look for this video, it'll be up here shortly. And, uh, Lord willing, it was edifying. If I misspoke anything, any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. I'll definitely clear it up, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, that's pretty much it. So with that being said, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, teaching the course where I learn his truth. All right, peace and salutation to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's elected house of David. Kwam Yashirala, Kwam Yashirala, Kwam Yashirala, Wai Baba Baal, Shalak Ram to Esau, Shalak Ram to Babylon, Shalak Ram to the two-thirds, the house of Saul, Shalom, Michael.